Welcome to Desi Nostalgias. Today I am back with yet another famous and one of my personal favorite writing instruments from the past, and now it has become a real classic one too. Yes, you all know by now I am talking about Parker 51, the real granddad or the inspiration for the Chimes Hero Pen. Let us, first of all, know a little bit about the brand Parker, which you all might be familiar with, and then move on to the history of the pen. The Parker Pen Company, even though had its headquarters and factory in New Haven, East Sussex, England from 1986 till 2011, was actually a French manufacturer of luxury writing pens, founded in 1888 by George Safford Parker in Janesville, Wisconsin, United States. In 2011 the Parker factory in England was closed as sales began to decrease owing to the increase in competition by generic copies of their pens by Chines Brands, and the production transferred to Nantes. France. In 2000 Newell Rubbermaid purchased the Writing Instruments division which included the Parker brand from Gillette Company which owned the brand from 1993. Newell Rubbermaid is part of Newell brands of companies which includes famous brands like Rotring, Sharpie, Reynolds, Papermate, Waterman, and Liquid Paper to name a few. We will definitely talk about Reynolds and Waterman in a separate video, there is a lot to talk about. Let us now talk about the star of the show introduced in 1941 or should I call it the world's most wanted pen, as Parker marketed Parker 51 during World War II. The pen demand went up so much that the company took several years to meet the demand. Many famous people used Parker pens and especially Parker 51 was used by Queen Elizabeth and the company received a royal warrant of appointment as the official provider of writing instruments for the royal family. The name 51 was to mark the company's anniversary in 1939, this is when the development of the pen was completed. Numbering the pen instead of naming it was a smart move that made it easier to market it in other countries and languages. Parker 51 was an innovative design for a fountain pen at the time, its signature hooded and tubular nib which was later imitated by many other pens including Hero Pen. The multi-fin collector was developed to let the tubular nib stay wet to lay down a consistent line while writing and a special fast dry ink was also introduced along with the pen at the time which later was discontinued. The initial pens used the vacuumatic filling system which made its way to the later popular aerometric filling system, the same type can be seen in the Hero pen also. The famous Parker 51 stayed in continuous production till 1972 with minor updations throughout its production time. After the production ended in 1972 there was some special edition look-alike model produced time and again. Like the 51 special edition in 2002 with the gold accents, and my personal favorite the Parker 100 from 2004 to 2007 which was redesigned by Jeff Hollington who also designed Sonnet and Insignia for Parker earlier. A reimagined version of the Parker 51 was released in 2021 which is slightly longer than the original pen and has a screw cap design. But still, I would say the original was the best of all if you could get your hands on one in pristine condition. A good fountain pen is a must that every one of you should have, you build a relationship with it and when that happens you start appreciating the pen's beauty and take care of each and every word that you lay down with this magical writing instrument. Appreciate the fountain pen and let us teach the next generation to use one. See you next time with a different video from our nostalgia. If you like this video please press the like button and share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you get more content like this in the future.